Hello, Dr. Dave Highmarsh, GP Templates. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the following session on beating stress and burnout. I thought, no better place where to shoot this in my loft. This is my train set, loft trains, and this is my way that I de-stress. I will often spend many hours uh, with my young son, and this was established initially during the pandemic, when, as you can well imagine, being locked down and dealing with a then three-year-old, how do you entertain him? Hence, Loft Trains was born. I'm a big, big fan of uh, Dr. Rachel Morris. I subscribe to the You Are Not A Frog podcast. I make sure I listen to it on the majority of my dog walks. And she has talked us through the Shapes Toolkit. And the whole three-hour session was sort of looking at those in sort of great, great detail. I was frustrated because I actually missed the session and that was through my own bad bad planning. Um, so if you are going to do this, I'd make sure that you just have a real good look at the calendar and make sure that you clear the time to sort of uh, sign on to this. Let's take for example, let's imagine we're Percy who's running around here. He's pulling all these little troublesome trucks. And these are meant to represent our worries, woes, problems that are going on. And is the realisation that actually I cannot stop this truck from being troublesome in the same way that I can't affect the government's position on COVID, the, you know, pulling out of all the COVID testing facilities, the fact that my, you know, patient's gone through a difficult time and struggling, that I have no power to influence that. I can, though, have the power to change how I approach that episode, whether I shunt it really hard or whether I go up to it gently and empathetically and how I move on from my day to day from that way. This overall taking control or recognising what you've got power over for me is a work in progress. Like I'm still trying to sort of just come to process with that and actually to sort of deal with how I sort of manage that. The big one for me is time, as I'm sure with many GPs, is that what time do I leave work, okay? And when I left the military, one of my uh, good colleagues who worked in the NHS for many years until she'd left to join a military setting, turned around and said, look, the work will always be there. Because I know that actually what gets me joy out of the day is spending time with the children, making sure that I'm there for bath and bedtime, rather than, you know, spending hours upon hours at work Otherwise, I'm just going to burn myself out. So Medics Money is now in its stride. It's got a second partnership course up and running. Um, and I would implore you to have a look at it if you're a new partner. Mash a like and please, please, please hit the subscribe button as well. We've also got this on our website just to make sure that we're not missing anything out from that point of view. Dr. Dave Highmarsh, GP Templates. I hope you found that useful. I'll see you soon.